and I think it's a travesty of a use of advertising in the architectural context. I think it's pretty ugly. It breaks up and it's really disturbing to the skyline of uh, Manhattan. Decorative, lights up at light, gives plenty of color to the city. Mm -hmm. It's what New York's all about. Mm -hmm. It was so piercing and it, they could see it from their homes and it sort of invaded their homes. This 50-foot sign has been a source of controversy since the spring of 1996. That's when Travelers Insurance Corporation attached their logo to the side of their Tribeca headquarters. Uh, the actual dimensions are that the umbrella is 50 feet wide and 50 feet high. It's about four stories high on the building. And so it is gigantic and it's truly enormous. Responding to complaints about the sign, the Tribeca Community Association filed a lawsuit against travelers to take the logo down. Aesthetics aside, the logo does violate the district's regulations governing size and location. Okay, the zoning regulation said that in this district, uh, an illuminated sign would not be allowed in more than uh, 40 feet above the ground. And it's a C64 district, which is a commercial district. After a year of legal battles, the Tribeca Community Association and travelers reached a compromise. Their agreement was that from sunset to midnight, the sign is turned off. From midnight till sunrise, it is dimmed. Then, the traveler's umbrella is turned back on and shines bright during the day. Despite our numerous attempts for comment, travelers did not respond to our requests. The debate continues in this community whether a corporation's needs should take precedence over a resident's quality of life. This is Courtney Pulitzer reporting for Columbia News.